Thank you, Madam President. I ask for permission to speak to the entire package to give my no vote explanation. Without objection is ordered. Colleagues, there are certain times when a legislative body must come together as one to do what is right for the future of our state. Some solutions cannot be decided by one party nor one house of this legislature. Earlier this year, we as a Senate came together across party lines to address one of the most critical issues facing our state right now, the future of the Detroit public school system. We passed bipartisan legislation that would serve to reform DPS in a way that was sustainable and truly transformative. The bills we passed affirm the positions of educators as professionals and respected local autonomy in the district. They were a pass endorsed by the mayor of the city, the governor of the state, to restoring public education in Detroit to the level of esteem it once held. However, our colleagues in the House have amended this legislation to be bills of neither hope nor of unison, and have done so without any support or input from members who represent the district you say you want to fix. The House passed legislation regarding DPS is deplorable. The strike language will create chaos, allowing one person to submit a claim. These bills will produce legal chaos throughout the city of Detroit. Failing charters will continue to grow without oversight while neighborhood schools close. A heavy reliance on merit pay would just decrease teacher autonomy and increase the financial power of principals and administrators, some who have already been indicted of fraud. And most alarmingly, uncertified teachers would be allowed to teach in our children's classrooms. Would you let an unlicensed doctor perform surgery on you? I would guess not. But this is what you will allow for teachers in the city of Detroit. And by the way, I doubt you'd allow that in any of your districts back home. Teachers are not the problem. They work in deplorable conditions for much less than what we make in this body. They have given their money back to the district to keep it afloat. They give their blood, sweat, and tears to these children. They certainly care more about these kids than politicians. The, the solution to this problem should not be on their backs. It's clear that the House passed legislation is a punitive package of bills that serve only to hurt the children of Detroit who have struggled enough. The current state of these bills spell the end of the Detroit public schools. That is the goal for the, the for-profit charter school industry in the state, and you are doing their bidding. The legislation we sent to the House took time, effort, collaboration. We cannot accept the hasty partisan amendments we received in return. We cannot pass bills that lack regard for the effects they will have on the students of Detroit and their families. We cannot be held hostage by the prospect of simply saying we solved the problem. Colleagues, I'm frustrated. The Senate has repeatedly tried to do good bipartisan work, but unfortunately, once again, we play Charlie Brown to the House's Lucy as they pull the football away and we cave to them. Think about that while you're driving home angry tonight on the busted roads that we didn't fix either. I swear sometimes I believe, colleagues, that the other side of the aisle in this chamber has Stockholm Syndrome, continually allowing the House Republicans to control what happens in this body. I urge you to reject the House amendments and to continue to stand for what's best for the future of education in this state and for the people of the city of Detroit and for those that represent it that will not stand with you today. Thank you, Madam President. I ask that my remarks be printed in the journal.